Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to review another new accessory for your DJI Spark, the Spark Sunhood. I've gotten a lot of questions about this product from you guys over the last few weeks, asking me things like, does it really work? Is it worth the money? Should I add it to my Spark Kit? So I thought I'd sit down and put together a short clip that explains what the product is, how to use it, and some of the advantages a product like this can provide if you're out flying and filming on a sunny afternoon. Now to get started, a sun hood is nothing new. If you've flown other DJI products like the Mavic or the Phantom, there were hood kits out for those products. You put them on and they really helped improve the picture when you were flying. If you own a DSLR camera, especially if you've got a long lens, I'll bet you that lens came with a sun hood for the front of it, and you slide it over the front of that lens to do a couple of different things. Fundamentally, a sun hood should give you some protection from angular sunshine. So when you're out filming, if you're, if you're catching the sun at a weird angle, it'll actually wash across the glass and cause lens flare inside the picture, and it'll degrade the picture. You may get artifacts. All kinds of bad things happen. So by having effectively those blinders on either side and the top and the bottom, it gives you a much wider field of view where you can move and not worry about that reflective sun. The second thing that a sun hood will do is protect the expensive lens. So if you've got a DSLR camera and you've got a lens uh, hood on the front of it, if you drop that camera, which is a horrible event, if you drop that camera, that lens hood should protect that expensive glass on the front of that lens. It does exactly the same thing for these quads. This one for the Spark is incredibly easy to use. It's a piece that's custom made to slide over the front of the Spark. You just basically pop it on the front. You'll feel it click. And once it's on the front, it's on there for good. It's not going to fall off when you're flying. You can take it off very easily, just pull it off and it pops off. There's a little clip inside here, I'll do a blow up, that actually latches into the underside of that assembly above here. And once it's on there, it's in good shape and you can fly with it. Now, what's nice about this hood is because you're in the air, you actually have an additional challenge because you're doing sort of three-dimensional angling to get pictures below you and in front of you. So this hood has blinders on both sides. It has sort of a hood on the front like a baseball cap. So it gives you almost a, a three-directional protection against the sun because let's face it you're going to fly and the sun's going to be above you so you want to have that protection above but it also gives you the side because you're turning and the sun's low in the sky you want to have the protection when you're turning and it does a really good job of cutting down on that sun glare the other thing i like about it and i know it's sort of a, a byproduct of having it on there but it really nestles the camera and the gimbal assembly inside of this this little cocoon of protection from the plastic so that if you hit a tree or if you crash this thing It'll give you a little elemental protection against something bashing up against that lens and bashing up against the gimbal. Um, I like that, and again, I know a lot of guys will argue back and forth, well, it's only plastic. What if the plastic breaks and it hits it? I still think having this thing crash or running into a tree or a bush or something without it, uh, there's a greater uh, chance of damage if this wasn't on there. So I like that that's sort of a byproduct. But the fundamental reason I use it, and I use it pretty much every time I fly, I've been flying with it for a couple of weeks, is that I fly on sunny days, and I fly in a lot of outdoor locations around water where there's a lot of sun glare and things. The minute I put this on there, it's almost like putting a baseball cap on on a sunny afternoon where it just improves the picture that I'm looking at. It improves the landscape. So I'm going to show you a couple of different pictures that I took just yesterday over a ball field. Now, these two pictures, the first one I'm showing is without the sun shield. Now, just notice where that building is in front of you. And if you look to the left, the sun is actually left of where I'm taking that picture. You can see that sort of sun flare come across that lens from the upper left-hand corner. This next picture, I have the sun hood up, and I went up to the same location and actually had it pointing exactly the same, and you can see the difference it makes. Now, you could look at those two pictures and say, well, wait a minute, the one with the sun hood on looks like it's a little more to the left. I did that on purpose because I wanted to show you that even with rotating the spark to the left a little bit towards the sun, I'm still not getting that level of sun flare in there. So that sun hood is helping an awful lot. Now, as far as the product goes, anytime I review an accessory, I use it an awful lot before I actually talk about it. I review a lot of accessories, or should say I test a lot of accessories that don't make the cut. So I'll use them, put the quad up, I'll fly with it. It doesn't really do what I need it to do. This one works really well. It's an inexpensive accessory. It's simple to use, it's durable, and it looks like it belongs on the quad. It's the same exact color as the Spark. It fits in your kit, it's light, it's not really bulky. No complicated mounting options, so I like this product an awful lot. Um, I've got these available on the website if you're interested. I've got a link below where you can go there and check them out. You know, my recommendation is if you're flying a lot in sunny locations, this is a really simple solution to pop onto your quad to number one, knock down on that sun glare for you when you're flying. And second, you've got that added benefit that, heaven forbid, you crash this into something. You know, your camera is right there in the most vulnerable position on the actual quad because it's, it's forward and lower. Having that sun hood on there might actually protect it a little bit when you bang into something. So just a thought there. 
So that's all I really had for today. If you guys have any questions about this or any of the clips that I've done, please drop them in the comments below or shoot me a quick email. I'll be happy to get back to her as quickly as I can. As I say every time, I really have a lot of fun putting these clips together. This is a product that I use. I think it would be beneficial for you guys to take a look at it. So thanks an awful lot for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button down there and uh, join the family. But uh, until next time, happy flying. Thank you.